Okay, I'm Francesca from MindYourMind.ca, and we're here with... Timbuktu. And Ghetto Socks. Okay, so just to start us off, why don't you tell us about your names? Okay, you first. Ghetto Socks was a name <laughs> I was given uh, by my homie, the Jade Emperor. That's another whole story unto itself, but he was making fun of my socks, so the name stuck. <laughs> yeah, well, my name's Tim. A lot of people probably get nicknamed Timbuktu. It's stuck. It's uh, not of my own doing, but uh, here we are in the future. Okay. Um, so how did you start off in music? Well, um, high school, just just really loved, loved rap music, and um, ended up getting the <laughs> getting uh, some equipment to record and make beats with, um, and just kept with it. That's all. I, that's a little distracting. <laughs> no, don't mind me. Please. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, just 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 the love, just the love of the music, and then sticking with it. And this is. Uh, it's a team burger. Okay. <laughs> hungry. Yeah, I can tell he's hungry. Um, so do you want to describe your sound to us in your own words? Uh, it's like the BC Boys mixed with uh, Steppenwolf mixed with, uh, I don't know, who can't play. Okay. Um, so do you think music can inspire and motivate others? And if so, how? Uh, absolutely. Absolutely can inspire and motivate others. I mean, you know, what do you think, D? <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, well, you know, when you hear things that, you know, that inspire you, like essay questions. <laughs> what's your, what's most inspired you? The team burger. Um, yeah, it can inspire and move people. It's a, it's a powerful art form. Uh, what's the question? How does music inspire others? Inspire and It could get you, it could get you hyped up before a hockey game. For yeah. instance, it can yeah. get you um, excited to get in the shower yeah. or to get out of the shower. You like to shower with the music. I like to shower with the music. You know, or like uh, get you all screened up before the gym. You know, <laughs> so you know it's uh, and it's you know. It's or if you game. have um, company over, <laughs> put the yeah. tunes on. You know, you get the the hairs on your arm standing up because of something that you heard. I asked my science uh, teacher in high school about that because they were saying it's supposed to be to keep you warm because you used to have fur. <laughs> and uh, it's it, uh, so I'm like, why why does it happen when you hear a good song or something and you didn't have any answers for it? And ever since then, I've been lost. <laughs> you know? Okay, so Next question. Next question. do you have any musical guilty pleasures? Uh, people dancing, hold down music to 50 Cent on the internet. Enjoy that. Uh, musical, musical guilty pleasures, I don't know. I mean, there's, there's some of the like mainstream hardcore you know, rap stuff that I'm not really, that I don't love. But you know, I can enjoy it. I, mean, I enjoy it. If you realize that rap is funny, you can listen to a lot more. A lot more. <laughs> okay, so um, everyone goes through hard times. How do you relax or deal with stress? Well, I love to laugh. So uh, <laughs> try not to take try to try not to take anything too seriously and realize that you know it's just a it's just a phase and it's just you know with time. You know, everything's all right. The stuff that seems important, you know, now in the big picture isn't really. So just be easy. You got anything for that? I was gonna say run away, but that's, <laughs> that's not probably the best advice. Yeah. Get away. Get run away from, from your problems. <laughs> no, no, that's not very good advice. So. Yeah. So we'll skip that one. So what advice? Actually, that's our next one. What advice would you give someone that's having a hard time? Run away. <laughs> And mine is just get out of there. You know, try to get keep try to keep perspective. You know, it's not it's not the end of the world. You know, nature like nature. Get out, walk around. Perspective is a good. Perspective is a very good. We'll go. We'll go with perspective. Oh, okay. Big picture. Try. Um, 
What gives you hope? It would be great if they would open it up in a and closer where I live. I'm also kind of in a coffee dead zone where I live in Toronto, so... Um, yeah, I don't know. Just hearing about their, their trapping antimatter now, so... That's like taking hope away. We might be in, we might be in big trouble. <laughs> Unless you're a Star Trek fan. Yeah. Then we're one step closer to traveling in space. Traveling the cosmos. <laughs> where we came from. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> I think the, uh, the reactor's on now. Right. Warp drive. Yeah. Okay. Now, is this is working. Next question. <laughs> the final question is, um, do you have any words to live by? Oh, boy. Um, try to sleep on your side. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Why? Where's the live by? Why? Why would you want to find yourself? No reason. I'm trying to keep it uh, keep it level here. Keep it level. Um, but yeah, uh, sleep at me. I don't know. Basically, uh, I think I think the perspective thing that should be the theme of the interview here. Really, keep perspective. Big picture. That's my parting words. Take it easy. Go with the flow. Relax. What about you? Run away? <laughs> no. <laughs> Uh, be excellent to each other. Mm -hmm. Be excellent to each other. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay. I, I didn't, I didn't coin that phrase myself. It's from Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. So, what's to live by? What's to live by? Oh, yeah.